Our camera lens trained on one man. Amid rumours that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Liverpool up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Well, they play without a main centre forward, but it's the wide players that end up through the middle. And they also look to get their fullbacks into advanced positions to deliver some great crosses. On their day, they're very difficult to negate. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape, but if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. The fans are always part of the story here at Anfield and they get underway. And over comes the corner. Not did his job defensively. And he takes on the shots. Oh, denied by the post. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. Oh, what an opportunity. Surely. And a goal. Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Failed to keep hold of it. Promising attack this. Salah! It's gone in beyond the goalkeeper, and Liverpool are level. Back underway, following the equaliser. <laughs> Hakimi. And this is Diogo Jota now. Well, he could run onto it here. Keeper did his job to begin with. Players waiting in the centre. 
and a timely intervention excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward but ultimately up a cul-de-sac let's fly here well the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do and it could be a chance for Liverpool to take the lead from a corner who's going to get on the end of it oh it's gone in would you believe and that is going to be classified as an own goal An own goal that has left them trailing and flailing. Maurice. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Here's Adamola Lukman. Now, let's see what they can do here. Santimina! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. He's driven in the corner. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Alex Tevez. It needs an accurate cross. Santimina. Lookman. And it's still on for him. Using his physical strength to shield it. Lookman. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. And the referee gets the second half going. Liverpool with the lead. Will they be able to hold on to it? Ruben Neves. Sama. Targets available. Cross comes in. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Can someone get on the end of this? Making sure nothing came of it. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And the cross is very much on. However, up a dead end. Well, that save just about keeps them in this. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Well, marginally wide. So, so close. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Now he must favour the cross. Steel. Santimina this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired 
Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, here it is again. The build-up is so patient. They're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Two -two. So you know, and a friendly game. reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Watford facing Aston Villa. Good looking sequence. Hakimi. Interception to snuff out the danger. Alex Tellez has it. Asuncao. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Breaking at pace. All hands on deck. Can he give them the advantage? It is now a substitution. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Just 20 minutes remaining now. Good physical play. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Santimina, can he make it count? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Played over. Threat over for now, it seems. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. This is looking threatening. The current scoreline, 4-2. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. And a goal has gone in at Stamford Bridge. So with all the information, here's Alex Scott. It's another goal for Chelsea. The goalkeeper has spilled it back into the danger area and he is there to slot the ball into the back of the net nicely. It's now 4-1 with 86 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Well, just look at this again. 
great technique, good accuracy and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. All eyes on one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brentford taking on Liverpool. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation, but they play with a false number nine, who just drops that little bit deeper, and that allows the wide players to make diagonal runs through the middle. 
Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Right, an opportune moment for us to join Alex Scott because there's been a goal at Elland Road, Alex. It's a goal for Leeds. Nice build-up play. And when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. It's now 1-0 with 11 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. And snuffing out the danger. Might really be able to trouble them here. And he takes it on. Pounds away by the keeper. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that. again with the score line standing at 1-0 Stefan Posch Martial oh skipping away well then there to tidy up throw-ins given Ivan Tony. This looks threatening. Can he keep his composure? Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, we can take another look at how close this was. It was marginally over the line, yes, but no doubt it was a goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. Well, running room in the wide position. Da Silva. Budawi. They really look after the ball when they have it. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Testing times for Liverpool. Can they pass this test? Salah. You can sense the threat is there. Salah. Hakimi. Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. An own goal it is, and no wonder his head is slumped.
And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Stefan Posch regained possession making progress Salah the game has been turned on its head they have never stopped believing and now they sense victory And he's fired over the corner, and he clears the danger. Has eyes for goal! Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Trying to pick out a teammate. And caught by the keeper. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Budawi. Well, strong play here. And a strong tackle. Hakimi. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Brentford facing Aston Villa. Salah! And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And the substitution will occur now. Martial Josh Da Silva Budawi Da Silva and Can they make one of these passes count? Teammate available And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. So a personnel change then. Underway once more, level at 3-3. Ivan Toni, and back with Martial. Tremendous ball played through, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Who can they pick out? Well, threat over for now. 
I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing Arsenal. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of... Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Number 17, Ivan Tony, to be replaced by number 19, Brian Maguelo. Corner kick played in. Well, thumped clear. Terrific block. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Josh Da Silva didn't quite go to plan and the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him well what a final few minutes we have here and the fans are certainly playing their part but can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game has a go chance and the fans are lapping this up Well, how about this? 4-3. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, if you want high-stakes football with a decided edge, you've come to the right place. Two teams who embody success, both with huge followings, about to cross paths. Stay tuned for all the live action from Anfield. It's Liverpool against Arsenal. And I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. 
I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League it is Liverpool versus Arsenal well thanks Derek as always the scene is set two good teams a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere it has all the ingredients for a really exciting game Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Well, we talk about this false number nine position, but really he's just an attacking midfield player. The penetration comes from the wide players who make runs from outside to in. Done well, it can be devastating. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. A match that should be chock-full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. gathered by the keeper well that's a really good recovery he had to be smart there and snuffing out the danger it is a decent looking attack here terrific block let's see about the delivery it comes to nothing in the end and space for him to cut in. Well, I think it's fair to say he got underneath that just a little bit. Salah and scope for them to produce something exciting oh goodness gracious me it's a special special goal from miles out So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Arsenal have given it away. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Well, clattered away. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. And Coman has the chance. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Yeah. 
Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it. And then just look at this finish, Derek. He does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. And we are going to have two additional minutes. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. And it should be a tremendous Carabao Cup quarter-final. You can see it live with us here on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing Everton. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And the danger's still on. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they might be onto something. But how well he did to cut that one out. Ruben Neves. In behind for him to chase. Will he finish? And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Can they take advantage? Cutting the ball back. Failed to keep hold of it. Slipshod passing. Moving it forward. Well, it could be on for him here. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? So making the substitution now. Now well, the action continues and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Plenty of options. Bubakar Kamara. Will he find the net? Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, just look at this turn. And the finish isn't bad either. That's a great goal.
You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Here it is now, a substitution. Number 14, Nathaniel Phillips. Coming onto the pitch, 21, Konstantinos Zimakis. Well, approaching full time, Liverpool with a narrow lead here. Can they make it a victory? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward, but poor defensively. But I do think they have been the better side for much of this game. They just need to defend their box with determination in these last few minutes. Substitution time it is. Bubakar Kamara. He'll have a go here. Oh, that is a superb save. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Who can he pick out? Coman. Superb block. And pushed onto the woodwork. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Hakimi. Quick ball to perhaps catch them out. It might still be problematic. Well, thumped clear. Coleman. On to Werner. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. As eyes for goal! So the current scoreline, 4-2. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.